Overpaying for anything sucks, especially socks. So why pay $45 for a single pair of grip socks when you can spend less than half? Pure Grip Socks Pro feature our best materials for optimal fit, moisture wicking, and performance at a fair price. Just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. So for those of you that saw my review of the brand new Nike Premier 3, aside from me talking about how good of a value for money proposition these football boots are, something that I was really excited about as a new feature is Nike giving you the option to physically and permanently modify the football boots by suggesting that you have the option to cut off the fold over flap tongue, which admittedly, while the same shape as what we had on the Nike Premier 2, it's not as nice in that it's made out of a cheaper synthetic material rather than actual leather. And quite honestly, it's just adding extra bulk across the top of the foot. I don't think it's necessarily hurting performance, but the option to cut it off I think is pretty cool. And normally when you permanently modify your football boots, should something go wrong and you need to make a warranty claim, Nike would have the right, and really any brand would have the right, to refuse your warranty claim because of that modification that you've made. But this time around, Nike is literally saying, go ahead and cut the tongue off your football boots. So because a lot of you guys suggested that I cut the tongue off my pair and show you how it's done, that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. Because while it does seem pretty straightforward, it's still kind of a nerve wracking thing to start chopping into your brand new football boots. And I think there's actually a few different ways that you can do this. And I wanna find out what's the best way and hopefully help you guys out if you decide to do the same thing to your Nike Premier 3s. Now, before we start cutting, I do wanna point one thing out. Of course, Nike does give you this line where apparently they want you to cut the tongue off. However, you'll notice that that's gonna leave a little bit of extra material on what looks to be kind of a pretty normal tongue before it attaches to this fold over flap. And if you pull the edge a little bit, you can actually see there's a gap between the liner and the underside of the actual tongue that's gonna remain on the football boots. Personally, I feel like cutting into that gap is actually gonna make for a much cleaner look when it's all said and done, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently on the left and right boot, following the line and then cutting just under to see what the results are. So step one, get yourself a decent pair of scissors. And the only reason why I say that is if you go and cut your football boots with some really old worn out scissors that aren't very sharp, you're gonna end up with a line that just isn't very crisp. This is a material that still has some decent thickness to it. So you're gonna wanna use some decent scissors that are gonna cut through a little bit more easily and you're just gonna end up with a cleaner look as an end result, regardless of where you decide to cut on the tongue. So we'll start with the left boot and I'm just going to cut exactly along the line that Nike provides. However, I'm not gonna do it close to the camera because it's very difficult for me to actually show you what I'm doing and focus on holding the boots in the camera. So I'm just gonna do it right here in order to get the cleanest result possible. Again, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but wish me luck. As you can see, the line is not just straight across, it kind of dips down here in the middle. And what I'm finding is that the extra material of the tongue is actually catching the other end of the scissors. So I started cutting on one side, got to a point where I didn't feel like I had enough room and then started back on the other side. And I'm kind of at that point where there's no room in either direction. So I think the best course of action here and probably something I should have done from the start is just cut off the bulk of the tongue itself and then just have a little bit of excess material and have this completely out of the way. So, ooh, that just, that felt bad. So here's the end result. And I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't do the greatest job on cutting exactly on the line. And that's because it is a little bit tricky. I can definitely go back and clean it up a little bit, but I have to say, I think the end result actually looks pretty good. It feels fine along the edge. And you'll notice on the back side of the tongue, the reason why they have that line there is you can see that this double stitch on the underside lines up exactly with that cut line. So you're not cutting into that stitching. I think if you're just looking to eliminate the tongue in the easiest way possible, cutting along that mark line is definitely the easier way to go. However, I'm not satisfied with the easy way out. I'm gonna cut in that little crack and see what the result is. Thank you. 
So as you can see, the final result, in my opinion at least, looks a little bit cleaner. And I actually think it's easier to cut in that little crack because you're only cutting through very thin lining material that's basically holding the fold over flap tongue to this area and allowing it to flop over so easily. You still end up with a nice stitch for the liner. You do end up cutting away that second stitch, which I don't think is a big deal. Everything seems like it's gonna be held in place really nicely here. You're not cutting across the front stitch either. And I think the end result is something that looks like the tongue wasn't even there in the first place, which I think is what you're probably going for if you intend on cutting the tongue off your Premier 3s. I think the only downside of cutting off the fold over flap tongue is you are still left with this little piece of Velcro here across the top of the foot, which I suppose you could cut away this loop. It's not really doing anything at this point other than maybe helping to keep the tongue centered. Although I don't think that these lace loops do that much, especially considering how big this one is. Nonetheless, it is something to keep in mind if you cut off the tongue is that you're gonna be left with this little piece right here. And here's a look at the final product on feet. You can see the boots do end up looking, in my opinion at least, a lot cleaner, eliminating that extra material across the top of the foot. Aesthetically, I'd argue it's an improvement, and in terms of overall touch, it's just less bulk in an area where you really don't need that extra bulk. Yes, the laces are now left a little bit exposed, but they were always there to begin with. You were just adding more material on top of them. So is that really helping in creating a cleaner touch on the ball? I guess that's an argument for another day. Nonetheless, I think this looks good. It feels exactly the same as they did before because you're not really altering the shape of the tongue that would normally be coming in contact with this area of like the front of your ankle, top of your foot. And for me, this is a modification that I would definitely choose to make on a pair of Nike Premier 3s. So there you have it, the two different ways that you can detongue your Nike Premier 3s. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Any questions, as always, leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you. And if you are interested in some Nike Premier 3s for yourself, you can get them below their normal retail price by way of some SR4U coupon codes by checking out the first link down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.